got another couple multi-family so you guys can keep building that portfolio. Orin and Anastasia, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where we work together one on one. You and me, mano e mano, and we help you build your real estate portfolio. Now, Today, I'm working with uh, some legacy clients of mine, Oren and Anastasia, husband-wife team, long-distance investors. You guys are just gobbling up properties here in the Cleveland market. You guys are building up your portfolio. Uh, as a matter of fact, as uh, I'm talking to you right now, you know, we just officially released inspection contingencies on 3209 West 115th. That's a property you bought from us off the uh, investment properties for sale show. Anybody else who's curious to know uh, what the investment properties for sale show looks like, because it's a little different than the MLS search analysis show, which you're watching right now. I'm going to go ahead and put a link to that video in the show notes. Um, but Oren, Anastasia, you two have just been gobbling up multifamily, and I got a couple goodies for you today that I think you're really, really going to like. The first one, I, I really like this one. I love when we could find properties that have been sitting on the market for too long. And I feel the reason is because they're being mismarketed. And this is another one of those. 1439 West 107th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. List price, 99900 Been on the market for 86 days. That's a pretty decent amount of time. And there's more information in regards to that. They actually, as I talk right now, what is today? It is March 11th, 2020. This property was originally listed for like 125 or 115000 something like that, back in October of 2019 and then that listing i think it lasted like two or something months like that then that expired then they listed it again 86 days ago at 115,000. the particular property was priced a little bit too high should never have been listed originally at that price point in addition to that what uh there's just some inconsistencies um, with some of the notes, like if we go to the public remarks, um, this is a fully occupied property. So we already have two tenants in there. It explains that, but then, uh, you know, you have things in there where the listing agent's saying things like, there are multiple possibilities here. Add this gem to your investment portfolio or live in one unit while your tenant's rent covers the mortgage. Yeah, sure. That's great. I understand that. You know, that that is a benefit to buying an investment property, a duplex like this, if you do want to live in one unit, rent the other. But it shouldn't be marketed like that if both of the units are already occupied. Because, you know, first of all, these tenants have leases. We have to assume those leases. So you get a lot of agents that focus more on the residential stuff. And then I think they just get thrown into this, uh, you know, rental property stuff. And they, they think it's similar to just regular stuff where their clients want to buy houses and move into them. And it's different, you know, because you hear these key phrases like, oh, investment portfolio or, oh, live in one unit, have the tenant pay the rent. But in this particular case, that's this is not an ideal property for that. So that's just one example of when the agent, by the way, the agent works out of a Russell office. I just think the agent might not necessarily, that in conjunction with the too high a price, you know, they might not necessarily have been marketing this in the correct way. As far as the photos go too, here's the other thing, right? All the photos we have, it's of the units prior to the tenants moving in. It's when the units were vacant. Now, sometimes it makes sense to get your pictures when you do a, a turn before you put the tenants in there. You know, you could use the pictures that you uh, leased out. You know, use the pictures you use to lease out the units, right, to do that. So you don't have to go in and check everything out uh, with the tenants living there. But still, we don't have uh, an abundance of photos and nothing really looked all that good and I just 
you know, think it adds further to the confusion here because they're marketing it like, hey, you could live in one of these units and your tenants are going to pay the, the rent for your mortgage. But we do have two tenants anyway, but yet our photos show an empty unit. So, you know, I think you just run into a lot of people that maybe do want to live in the, the unit, but then they realize they can't actually go see it whenever they want with their realtor. They can't get an understanding of like picturing themselves living there because we got another tenant stuff in there when they do get there. The whole thing, I just, I feel like it's just a lot of confusion and really not uh, efficiently done. But that, of course, Oren and Anastasia is why you guys pay me to do what I do. So because of all that, I believe we can pick this thing up pretty, pretty easily for like 95000 Maybe we'll start a little bit lower, like ninety-two, ninety-three. but we should pre fairly easy for us to pick this up for 95 which is a pretty solid price point for this considering the rents are so high this is actually different than a regular duplex the upstairs unit is not a standard 2-1 it's actually a 4-1 so for the rents we will be able to easily get 800 bucks a month and then the downstairs is paying 665 and that is a little bit lower than it should be that we would normally be able to get up to about 750 okay so currently bringing in 1465 but we can add almost a hundred bucks on that and as far as the four bedroom it's easy to get 800 that's very replicable we could possibly possibly bump that up maybe to eight and a quarter but I don't I don't want to you know get you super excited on going much higher than that because eight is pretty nice pretty good for a duplex unit once you start getting above eight hundred dollars at that point i feel like the tenants will just want to move to single family homes even though there's four bedrooms uh you know at that point I'd, i think they're going single family home so the the rents we're getting right now very close maybe a hundred hundred and a quarter or so off of pure market so because of all that you know ton of money coming in fourteen sixty five a month seventeen five eighty a year so you pay ninety five thousand I think that's a solid deal what would that look like well of course we got a budget seventy three for repairs and maintenance vacancy and non-payment capital expenditures right like things like the furnaces those furnaces in the photos there those were not new furnaces right those are older furnaces so they last every 30 years if i had to guess those are probably 20 or so year old furnaces you got to spend three g's every time you replace those hot water tanks cost a g last 15 years those hot water tanks didn't look very new the electric was updated that's nice but we budget for that stuff every month because we know it's coming roof huge property probably six seven thousand dollar roof no inclination, no reason for us to believe it's going to be a new roof. So, you know, that cost is coming up, but then that'll last you 30 years. So we're budgeting all of that. We don't count that towards your return. Taxes, 129. Insurance, 80. As you guys know, uh, I'm just going to say it again for everyone else, though. I also own a farmer's business. So anybody out there who's looking to lower your insurance rates on your rental properties click the show notes below we got a link for you to get a lower quote it's free uh, we can do multiple states multiple markets across the US so if you're just thinking about entering the Cleveland market if that's why you're watching today's show but you got property somewhere else don't worry we can lower your rate there as well so check us out back to the chart water and sewer you got to pay that for the tenants that'll be 150 lawn care 44 p.m. 146 so all told on average we're gonna spend 768 to run this property that's gonna leave us with an NOI of 697 a month or 8364 a year you guys finance this bad boy only got to put down 23750 Not bad for an 8.8 .8 cap property. After you pay off your mortgage, you're looking at a 20% cash on cash return. So all in all, I think this is a solid deal. And if you guys want to move forward, as usual, sales at HoltonWise.com. We'll write up that offer for you. We'll schedule the home inspectors. You guys got this down as a science. You know, you guys have uh, bought several properties from us now, so you understand how it all works. Uh, very simple. Like I said, I'd like to start in the low 90s, but with the target of you paying no more than 95000 and I think it should be doable. Now, we got to go to a quick commercial break, and then we'll get into the second property I found for you. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact, combined with the high price-to-rent ratio, is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee, 
as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Welcome back, Orin and Anastasia. Um, this next property is a triplex in South Euclid. Super solid B-class neighborhood. But one thing I realized I forgot to even mention uh, from the duplex in Cleveland is the neighborhood. That is actually going to be the Edgewater neighborhood. Super nice neighborhood. Very, very trendy. So that is a solid neighborhood. So that is um, definitely something that is a benefit of this property. But moving on to the triplex in South Euclid, solid B-class neighborhood. This one, another one that's been on the market for too long. 163 days, listed at 119,900. 1504, Sherbrooke Road, South Euclid, 44121. This triplex has currently one tenant, and then we've got two empty units. So we do have to do a little bit of repairs, but since it's been on the market so long, I think we'll get a, a nice discount off the current list price. So let's see what we got from the photos. Now, I'm anticipating spending approximately $20,000 on the renovation. Now, when you pull up these photos, you know, things look pretty good. They look pretty nice. That carpet doesn't appear to be too old. The walls are neutral, not necessarily the agreeable gray I like to see, but they're okay. Um, they're like a cream color, not the end of the world, but I want to spend some money in the kitchen, right? This doesn't look good. Like, this is a teeny tiny fridge, not even a full-size fridge. We got, you know, Granny's, uh, whatever the fuck this is called, these border things. All I know is it's old. Nobody's happy about that. You got the little crummy $10 gold light fixture. Like, this outlet cover, if you actually look, you know, you got a white outlet cover, but actually look at the outlet itself. It's like some gross off white type thing so we got to spend some some bones in the kitchen right we want to make the kitchens look good same thing with the baths man like this is you know this is old right this is just old dated grimy looking you know these tiles got to be 40 50 years old so we got to put some money into modernizing the kitchens and the baths in these units making them look good that's where we want to spend the money we do that and we'll have some pretty nice units like this kitchen like this is just, uh, you know, it's, look at this flooring, right? It's a small kitchen. This is uh, not an ideal kitchen, so we at least need to make it cosmetically nicer. I mean, look at this crummy old wooden countertop. I mean, that is not going to work for us. So we're going to really want to, you know, fix this up. We're definitely going to need to repaint this stuff. Um, another granny bathroom, right? So it's just not up to snuff currently. So that's why I want to spend approximately $20,000 fixing it up. We do that, what we'll have is we'll have the current tenant who's paying 800 bucks in a two-bed, one-bath. The other one where I want to do the kitchen, but the rest of the apartment, the cosmetics look pretty good from our photos. That's another two-bed, one-bath. We'll have another person in there at eight. And then the really teeny, tiny one-bedroom without the ideal layout. It's kind of like a bonus unit. Since we're going to make it look so good cosmetically, we'll still be able to get 600 So that's going to be 2200 bucks a month coming in or 26400 a year coming in. Of course, we don't get to keep all that. So we're going to budget 110 repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, CapEx, taxes. Taxes are a little higher now because we are in South Euclid. The tax rate is higher, plus the value of this property is going to be higher. So 331 a month. Insurance should still be about 80 bucks a month again. Anybody out there, if you want to lower your rate, we not only are appointed through farmers, we're also appointed through a bunch of other random 
little business to business niche insurance companies not like your progressive or your geico companies that advertise on tv just like little niche stuff that you've probably never heard of so we're able to like shop your portfolio around get you guys a super low rate because look man i get it you guys are you guys are real estate investors you you don't care about this or that coverage what you want is a basic fire policy with a huge huge coverage on liability in case somebody gets murdered or injured at one of your properties other than that you don't need like personal property coverage or you don't want to do the coverage where they cover lost rents that's all garbage none of that is good we got to keep those rates low that's the best way to do it and my guys you know click that link below and we'll take care of you now back to the numbers on this property water and sewer we have three units so we got to account for more more people are going to be using that water and sewer so that should be 225 Long care, even though we got three units as opposed to two. Still only got one yard, so 44, and then the PM fees, 220. So on average, of that 2,200, I anticipate us spending 1230 to operate the property, leaving us NOI every month, 970. That makes this bad boy a 9.3 cap. Down payment, small, 26250 Mortgage is only going to be 78750 After you pay off your mortgage, you still should be able to walk away with, on average, 638 in your pocket. And when you're figuring out your cash-on-cash cash return, remember, you need to divide the amount of money you make after you pay off your mortgage with your initial outlay so in addition to the twenty six thousand two hundred fifty dollars we put down for the down payment we also need to factor in that we spent another twenty thousand dollars on that renovation so all into this deal even though the down payment's only twenty six two fifty you should have roughly forty six thousand two hundred fifty dollars your own cash invested in this deal but since you're going to be bringing home almost eight grand a year on average after paying off that mortgage that's still a 16.55 percent cash on cash return and this is just a solid property uh, listed um, by a company called Kiefer Realty and I think the price you know 120 I think since it's been on the market for so long I think we'll be able to beat that down 105 is the most I'd like you to pay that's what I did these numbers on but we'll probably start Lower, we'll probably start like 96, 97, somewhere in there. Of course, we'll make it violation-free, contingent on, you know, no city violations, things of that nature. We'll make sure we get your inspector in there. We'll make sure it appraises for an amount equal or higher than our contracted purchase price. You know, just all the normal due diligence things that we can do, that we need to do beyond this analysis. Like, this analysis is awesome. This really helps folks out there who are investing in the Cleveland market, especially those investing in the Cleveland market for the first time. This really helps you guys mitigate your risks. But this is just the beginning, right? This is a desktop video analysis. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing from here, from this studio. We still need to make sure we get a person physically at the property to inspect everything to make sure there's no surprises and if there are surprises that's okay we just need to account for them you know there could be you know issues that doesn't mean we walk away from the deal we try to negotiate a price reduction or try to negotiate the sellers uh to fix that stuff before you purchase it right so these are all the things we do that's the kind of experience you get when you work with me and my team so if you're watching this video and you guys want to work with me one-on-one -on -one like orin and anastasia do all the time to build their portfolio just go to holtonwise.com click the property search for sale tab and check out the mls search and analysis show purchase one of your own shows today or you can also subscribe to our mailing list and we will send you video tours of the properties we are selling every day at 1 p.m eastern standard time because we are the number one seller of rental property here in the cleveland market that's all I've got for today's show. As always, I am James Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. 
You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.